Hello, I'm Chuck with Alien Gear Holsters and welcome to the next episode in concealed carry training videos. Today's topic, how to clean a handgun. Okay, today we'll be cleaning my Springfield XD Tactical 45. And number one thing you want to remember is always make sure the weapon is pointed in a safe direction and make sure it is unloaded. So you want to drop your magazine out open the action, inspect it, and we're just going to do a, a basic minimum cleaning on this. This is your takedown right here on this particular weapon. You push it up. This is your slide release. You're going to hang on to the slide as you release this. Let the slide go forward and remove it from the receiver. So you can take this down a little further um, taking the barrel out to go a little deeper cleaning, but just a quick field cleaning, basic cleaning. A couple different things you can use on them. You got some liquid solvents available at your local gun store. You got some spray solvents also available. I prefer a particular one by Winchester simply because this is a solvent and lubricant all at one. You can clean the gun with this and leave it on there. So you want a good basic cleaning kit. This is a more advanced cleaning kit. This is a pretty simple portable cleaning kit. You can use your spray cleaner or your solvent and get it in there, leaving it together. Get your barrel swabbed out real good, cleaned out. Take your Q-tips and clean on those slide rails in here. Get those cleaned up good. Any, any spot that's going to contact the receiver that could cause the weapon to hang up when you're firing it, get those cleaned out, get it wiped down good. And if you're using a regular solvent, you get it wiped down good. Take some of your oil, once again on a Q-tip, get in there and oil things down. Or in the case of using the spray cleaner combination lubricant, you're basically done there. Finish cleaning the slide out, give it a spray down. I'm sorry, the receiver, not the slide. You want to pay particular attention to your slide guides here on both sides. Make sure those are good and clean and wiped out. Once again, that's a potential for the gun to, to misfire or hang up on you. Get those cleaned out, get in there with your Q-tips, get down deep into the magazine well on both sides, get that wiped down good. Basically ready to reassemble the weapon at that point. Let me put the slide back on the receiver, lock it back, re-engage the takedown tool, slide goes forward, make sure it's functioning. and you're good to go with a clean weapon. Now let's go through a thorough cleaning. So we'll start with just cleaning the slide and the barrel. So you got a spring in here with the tube. That's the action that operates the slide when the gas is released when the weapon is fired. So you want to take the spring out and you want to be careful of these because the springs are really powerful. Smaller calibers, like a 380 or a 9 millimeter, it's pretty easy. 45s are a little tougher. Once you're inside, most all the uh, auto loaders are the same. Pull the barrel out, separate the slide from the barrel. You look down there and see your lands and grooves, which are the twists that makes the bullet spin that keeps it accurate. The dirtier those are, the less accurate the weapon. That's one important reason to keep that clean. Another important reason to keep the weapon clean is longevity of the weapon as well. So we'll get into the cleaning here now. One thing you want to have on hand most of the time is some basic Q-tips so you can get in the nooks and crannies. If you've got a particularly dirty gun, you can get some of that stuff out of there. So we'll take our spray cleaner and shoot it down the barrel a little bit here. Get some in there and get it clean. And you want to make sure you use the right cleaner for the caliber that you got, that one is. You get a cleaning rod from your kit, attach it to the 
brush or rod. Heavily fouled, you want to use your uh, brass to clean it. Fairly clean, maybe just a few shots. Been shooting some clean ammunition, nothing that's lead, some kind of jacketed. Want to run your rod through a few times, clean it off. Get the stuff out of there. You can run a patch through to take the rest of the residue off if you're using a plain old solvent. As I stated before, this particular cleaner is a cleaner solvent um, protector, if you will, oil, so you don't have to do that. Once that's clean, you can spray your slide down a little bit. And get in there with your Q-tip and get in those spots that might be particularly dirty, hard to get to. So you get a good basic cleaning on these, get them wiped down, and you can move on to your receiver. Once again, give it a light spraying. Give it a good wiping down, get in there with a Q-tip, clean it off, get it cleaned up. Get inside where your magazine goes. And speaking of magazines, that's one thing you can't neglect. You have to address your magazines as well. Most magazines take down basically the same way there's a button on the bottom. They get dirty and your ammunition won't feed fully and those can cause misfires as well. Most of the time you got a button on these things, you just push down and slide this forward. You want to be careful, there's a spring in here, so keep your thumb over it. You might want to wear safety glasses when you're using the sprays and playing with the springs. So you disassemble it, pretty simple. You can just clean that out with a rag, wipe it out. Uh, plastic magazine, just wipe it off. Metal magazines, I would probably use the spray cleaner on, clean them off, and get that lubricant on there. Reassembly is just opposite of what you did. Taking it apart. Once again, that's back together. So we got everything wiped down pretty good. Got some lubrication on it. So we'll go ahead and reassemble it back. So basically in reverse, grab your slide, put your barrel back in, paying attention to orientation. Run that forward. Put the spring back in. Lock it back into the barrel. Once again, the 45 caliber has a really tough spring, so make sure you're careful with that. Visually inspect, make sure that's good, that's good. And we're gonna reassemble it, bring it back, lock it back, drop it back down, weapons locked, slide it, inspect it, rack it a few times. Make sure everything's good to go. And that concludes the cleaning portion for the pistol. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe to our channel. For more tips on concealed carry training videos, remember to visit aliengearholsters.com.